Hello everyone. In this class, we will talk about cognition. Cognition is a broad term, but let's not complicate things too much and get ourselves a simple and clear definition. So, cognition generally refers to some sort of mental process that involves dealing with knowledge through thought, experience, and the five senses. Let me clarify one thing from the very beginning. Cognition is not all about thinking, as some people might think. For example, when you ride a bike or drive a car, you don't need to think to continue pedaling or steering. You do it automatically. But there is a mental process involved. Reflexes and habits is cognition. Or when you feel that you like a person that you just met, there is no thinking involved. You don't even know why you like the person. You just do. Intuition is also cognition. When a new business idea comes to you while you are reading a novel, it is also cognition. You didn't think about business at all. But your brain somehow synthesized several ideas into one without your awareness. So, as you can see, the notion of cognition includes in itself many specific cognitive processes. For example, paying attention or attending to something is cognition. But also comprehending, or put simply, figuring out something, memorizing information as well as recalling information from memory are two different cognitive processes. Judging, reasoning, computing. Problem solving, deciding, verbalizing something, for example, thoughts or feelings. All that are cognitive processes. All that is cognition. So the notion is broad, but the purpose of this class is not to give you a superficial overview of cognitive psychology and all possible cognitive processes, but to provide you with a rather deep and intuitive understanding of just a handful of core ideas regarding cognition. For what? Well, understanding the fundamentals of cognitive psychology is very helpful in understanding behavior of individuals, teams, and even the entire society. Specifically, cognitive psychology explains how and why people are biased, how people make decisions, how people are influenced, and a lot more. And of course, there is a very clear link between cognition and management. For example, the topic of influence and persuasion is heavily based on the theory of cognition. That can be in the context of leadership, but also negotiation, conflict management, and even marketing and advertising. Understanding cognition also helps in understanding motivation. Performance management is in fact based on cognitive psychological theories. Only not everybody is aware of it. So I hope that by this time you are already convinced that cognitive psychology is worth learning about. Now I will prove to you that it is also fun learning about. In the next video, I will start explaining the ideas about cognition that I find most fundamental. I call these core ideas premises, because from these premises we will later draw practical implications for management. Are you ready?